Hello, this is the tutorial for EBSCOhost Academic Search Premier. I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you how to do a simple keyword search and to navigate the site. Let's go ahead and type in global warming, which is our basic search. Type or touch the green search button and we'll go ahead and let those resources load. If you look to the left hand side, we obtained over 23,000 results and that's because we just did a simple keyword search. This is the title of the article right here, but if we want to go ahead and refine those results, we can click on each one of these boxes. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to click on full text, meaning we get the full article. We're going to click on references available, scholarly or peer-reviewed journals, which means that experts have reviewed those journals and they're relevant, the content is current, and it's definitely authoritative information. We're also going to limit our publication date and narrow the field. Instead of, two, instead of 1950 to 2011, let's go ahead and slide that ruler over to about 2005. So we're only going to look at publications between 2005 and 2011. Click on the Update button, and those limiters will limit our search for global warming now. And as it's loading, we should have a narrower field of references to peruse, and we do. We're down to 289 results. And as we look at the um, resources loading, you notice those boxes will fill, any minute, there they go, with maps and pictures indicating that that specific resource has pictures and photographs available. So if you need that for an assignment, Keep that in mind when you're looking at the database and the titles. Now if you hover right over the magnifying glass, this is going to be a short summary or abstract of the article, so you won't have to read the whole article to get the gist of what it's talking about. You've got the publication date and also it's a full text PDF article, so we know that we are going to get all of the information. Now we're down to 289 results. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that narrowed down even further by putting another descriptor in, Global Warming and United States. Click on the search button and that should narrow our results even farther with the full text and the scholarly reviewed and the publication dates. And it does. We're down to 24 results. So as those are loading, we can see that um, 24 is going to be much more manageable for our topic on global warming in the United States. And again, you can also notice the resources have pictures, graphs, color photos, and again, we're, we are getting full text documents as well. Now, be aware that global warming, another term for that, can be climate change. So if you're not getting what you need, with the term global warming, you might want to search climate change and see if that brings up more results as well. Let's go ahead and click on the title. And when we click on the title, it's going to be loading for us. And we should be getting a toolbar on the right hand side, and we do. These tools will help you save your materials. You can add them to a folder. You can print the items, which you know will cost you and, and eat up some paper, but that will work. You can also email your article to yourself. And if we click on the email button, that will bring up a screen where you're going to enter your email address, the subject of what you're emailing. You can also choose right there on the right hand side the citation format as well. So if you click on, we're going to type in global warming, click on the citation format. And it gives you many, many styles to choose from, from the drop-down menu. You can choose APA or MLA style, whichever one your assignment requires. When you click on one of those and fill that in, the article plus the appropriate citation format will be emailed to you. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And if you need any other information, please call your library.